winning the game! E! Closing the game! Does he have to announce it every time? 1920s, the beginning. In the 1920s, the meals were basic and unappetizing. The main reason behind the meals was to simply just keep the prisoners alive. In front of you is bread, butter, porridge, and water. That's not a bad breakfast. I'm butter, not. toast, oatmeal. There's no condensed milk in this oatmeal. I won't like it. I wish this porridge had some condensed milk, because this is... It looks like oatmeal to me. You want some? Let us know if you like this angle. We're trying something new today. If you want more of this angle, let me know. It's time for prison trivia. Your question today is what cultural movement characterized by flappers, jazz music, and a rejection of traditional norms defined the 1920s? Was it called the Age of Enlightenment or the Roaring Twenties? Asian Enlightenment. Asian Enlightenment. <laughs> Both of you are wrong. It was the Roaring Twenties. Times are roaring. Your punishment? Find a way to smuggle 10 wine bottles from one side of the room to the other with a police officer blindfolded and looking to punish. Open the gate. Okay, Alex. Yeah. We gotta take this alcohol and bring him back to our jail cell. Okay. <laughs> the Great Depression. As the Great Depression hit, prison budgets tightened even further. The prohibition allowed powerful organized crime syndicates to become more powerful and in turn, the majority of the crimes were committed by organized crime. In front of you is beans and water. I like beans. Do you lose? You don't like beans? It's not horrible. You have beans? I prefer juice? it better than the beans itself. The juice, at least there's flavor. The water's good though. It tastes like the 1920s. It's time for prison trivia. The 1930s. What was the world's tallest building in 1930? Was it A, the Empire Empire State Building or B, the Chrysler Building? Chrysler. It's the Chrysler. Mary Chrysler. Correct. Oh, where did you have to know that? I just copied you. Because I, I don't know. 1940s, World War II. During World War II, rationing affected everyone, including prisoners. In an effort to contribute to the war effort, prison meals were often centered around rationed goods. In front of you is thick canned meat and powdered eggs. Ooh, powdered eggs? Oh, powdered eggs. How'd that happen? That's from the old dusty chickens. <laughs> well, you can meet. I can't meet. Oh my god. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in there. <laughs> it's like if you gotta eat it, you gotta eat it. It's like the last thing you gotta eat, but you have to eat it. That's the last thing you gotta eat it. You know what I mean? No. It's time for prison trivia. Which conflict lasted from 1939 to 1945? Was it the Battle of France or World War II? Battle of World France. World War II. Mm. It's the Great Depression, you know? <laughs> <laughs> the answer is World War II. Get it, sucker. Your punishment for the rest of the game, loser must wear hand-me-downs that don't fit. I can't fit in this. Check out the new merch at wasabiproductions.com. Also, if you haven't become a member yet, be a member. It'll help us in the future. It'll help <laughs> us with everything. Oh my God. See, look at this. I have to put these on today. <laughs> <laughs> these are definitely not gonna fit. Oh, don't do it. It's gonna be so tight we can see your ding dong. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody don't look at this ding dong. <laughs> oh, oh, jeez. Don't look at my ding dong. Put a sack in there. <laughs> Did you just do a man China? Why are you calling it out? <laughs> no, we're going to get the bottom time. Let me tuck it. No, Yo, that's no. bad, bro. <laughs> That's just, a no, that's just a testicle. One testicle. No. <laughs> Would you like to comment, sir? 1950s, the era of processing. The post-war era brought about changes in prison food. The 1950s witnessed the rise of processed foods, and this trend extended to prison menus. In front of you is canned vegetables, meatloaf, and orange juice. You like meatloaf? Yeah, I love meatloaf. I I don't. Man, this is all you get for prison, dude. That's horrible. Mmm, some orange juice, at least it's not agua. Prison trivia! What technological innovation literally launched in 1957? The jet airplane or the Sputnik satellite? Satellite. Airplane. I already know it's wrong. The Sputnik satellite. Yeah! Ah. 
<laughs> in your face. I'm scared. What's my punishment, sir? Your punishment? Be pelted by snowballs selected by oh. your co-host. Good luck. You ready? Yeah. Here, I'll give you a small one first. I swear to God, is this gonna hurt? I don't know. Go ahead. Oh! Ooh, that hurt? <laughs> oh my god. Stop. Oh. <laughs> The 1960s, a focus on rehabilitation. Amidst the civil rights movement, changes in society influenced prison food as well. Efforts were made to improve conditions, and this extended to meal. In front of you is a tuna sandwich and tea. This tuna sandwich look like a throw up. Blech. I actually like tuna sandwiches. Oh, there you go. Eat yeah. the brain part. No. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Now you definitely look like brain now. I think in his brain. Mm. This is 19 what? 60s. Prison trivia. Which major civil rights movement leader was assassinated in 1968, sparking outrage and galvanizing the movement for equality? Was it A, Martin Luther King Jr. or B, Malcolm X? Oh, I want to say MLK, but I feel like that's too obvious and Malcolm X is like the trick question answer. I pick Malcolm X. I pick Martin Luther King. The answer is Martin Luther King. <laughs> Woo! If you would have the sandwich, I'll do your punishment. Okay, 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 wait. wait is that you look enough? a little cold. Is this <laughs> no, this one. This is a lot more than half. Okay, do like half of that one. Okay, if I eat this. Yeah, but okay, you gotta yeah, eat it in three seconds. Okay. Go. One, two, three. Oh, you didn't swallow. <laughs> I'll do your punishment, it's okay. <laughs> What's my punishment, darling? If it buzzes and you make a mistake, you will be shot and you must start over. It's you! Oh. Shot yo mouth. I'm trying my hardest not to get shocked. Steady hands, steady hands, steady hands. Oh no. It's out of my reach, Alex. You got this. <laughs> Speed route. Oh, here you go. <laughs> so they did this in the 1960s. Yeah, with shot colors. That's insane, man. So people who do drugs do this. Sh mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, you got it. Easy squeezy. Mm -hmm. Easy squeezy. Ah! No more, no more. One more. Last okay, one. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Last one, Alex. <laughs> We're gonna complete this like it's the final boss. You know, let me defeat Sephiroth. Okay, Alex? Yeah. Because once we beat Sephiroth, we can do this and then we can move out our day. Yeah! Yeah! I definitely didn't Woo! turn it off. You turned it off. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> tickle you. I'm gonna just tickle your ass. <laughs> this is like, this is like real life prison. 1970s, culinary diversity. The 1970s brought a cultural. Sorry go to jail. The 1970s brought a cultural shift, and with it, a greater emphasis on diversity in prison food. Menus started incorporating dishes from various ethnic backgrounds, reflecting a broader understanding of the diverse inmate population. In front of you is spaghetti, canned fruit, and water. Yes, I like all these things. What is the canned fruit diversity in? Fruit from all over the world. In ah. Canada. Ah, Arkansas, ah, Madagascar, ah, Kenya, ah, Cambodia, Cantonese, ah, Candice not spending your mouth, ah. How was the spaghetti? <laughs> oh, spaghetti overload. 1970s trivia. What iconic music festival, known for its peace and love vibes, took place in 1969 and attracted over 4,000 attendees? Was it the first Burning Man or Woodstock? Burning Man. I'd say Woodstock. The answer is Woodstock. Oh yeah. Is oh, no. that the bird from Charlie Brown? It is. Is it named after the bird from Charlie Brown? Woodstock with a woodcock. Woodstock cock. is named after Woodstock, New York. Oh. oh. Your punishment is to eat mysterious fondue items. Ooh. Jimmy, you can't look, you can't look. All right. I can pick any? Pick any. I choose this one. I choose one. I'll, I'll do this with you. Okay, I do this one. Ooh. Oh, what is that? That's, That's like pretty a carrot. Weird. Try, 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 try. It's hot. I forgot fondue's hot. <laughs> 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 I think we have Vienna sausage. Vienna sausage? <laughs> That's your weakness, yo! <laughs> Ooh, Vienna sausage and chocolate is a no-no. Oh, okay, my turn, my turn. Mm, this one. Looks like a marshmallow that melted. Hey, you got the good one! I, I didn't know. 
lot. I'll get the rest mm -hmm. of your marshmallow. Marshmallow over there. It's an olive, isn't it? Looks like lichon baboy. <laughs> looks like a, look, looks like, looks like skin of a lichon, like pork. Strawberry. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is strawberry, I thought it was pork. This one, apple, or right, as a pickle. pickle. Oh, good. <laughs> no. How come it kind of slaps? It's actually like not bad. For you. <laughs> strawberry? Vienna sausage. Strawberry, uh, strawberry. Ah! 1980s, a fast food influence. As fast food culture flourished in the 1980s, some prisons began introducing elements of this trend into their menus. Every now and then, prisoners were rewarded with fast food. I'm sure the fries weren't hot. If you buy McDonald's fries and you don't eat it within the first like 15 minutes. Oh yeah, you're right. What does it taste like? Cardboard. Mm -hmm. Also, I must confess, I have never eaten a Big Mac. In your life? No, 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 no. Oh. I, when I was a kid, I ate it. I didn't like it. I never ate it again. So it's been over 20 years since I've had a Big Mac. Ooh, soda. I guess so. I'm gonna eat a Big Mac. All right, let's see if I like Big Macs now. You're not. I didn't like it when I was a kid. Why? Why? It's not hot. In oh. prison, prison serves it cold. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. It's the sauce. It's time for prison trivia. Which Cold War superpower collapsed in 1991, marking the end of an era? Was it A, the Soviet Union, or B, the People's Republic of China? Soviet, it's China. The answer is the Soviet Union. I told you it's the USSR. We did not. Your punishment, you have 30 seconds to reroll this cassette tape back to normal. If you do not complete this, you will have to eat another punishment. Ready? Yes. Get. 30 seconds, go, come on. Oh, oh, you're gonna get it. Oh, this is not even yeah, use your pink fit. Use your, oh, that's good. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'll help you. 30 seconds? Yeah, yeah. This, I bet it you got like 22 <sighs> seconds probably. This is as fast as my forearms go, dog. 15 uh, seconds. Okay. There's no way you're gonna get through there's this. There's no way I'm gonna this. This is a this. lot. 10 seconds. Come no, on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There's no way. Yeah, you there can do. There is no way. You can do. This is messed up. This is messed up, dude. It's like one of those like Hunger Games things. Like you do this, but it's impossible. You can do. It's over. Time's up. It's a, my, oh. life, my life is over. Your punishment: eat the infamous Bell Burger, the Taco Bell Burger. Oh. Oh, where'd you get this? Is that good or bad? Okay. Oh, it's not bad. Is it's it? A, it's a taco burger. Is it gross? No. <clears throat> it's kind of like a sloppy joe. Ooh, I love sloppy joe. It really is like a sloppy, want it? No. It's not bad. Mm. It's not bad. Mm. It's spicy. <laughs> The 1990s saw a growing awareness of nutrition and prison menus were adjusted to address health concerns. Efforts were made to reduce the reliance on processed foods and increase the inclusion of fresh produce. In front of you, a cup of chicken and dumpling soup, Ooh. mac and cheese, oh. bread, broccoli, and milk. Nice, I don't like milk. You don't like mac? Let's try the mac and cheese. <laughs> mm. 1990 is not bad. Yeah, they got some variety now. Question, did you like growing up in the 90s? Yeah. I remember playing Super Mario 64. Mm-hmm. And I remember playing Pokemon Snap. It's time for prison trivia. Mm. Mm. What revolutionary technology was introduced in 1991, forever changing the way we communicate and access information? Was it the first laptop or the internet? Internet. internet. No, damn it, laptop, I guess. The answer is internet. Yeah. Uh, your punishment? Where Pikachu suit and transfer Pokemon cards from one side to the other in a Pikachu suit. Yeah, you. All right, Pikachu, you will be receiving a card from that side of the room, and you have to put it through the door for victory. Pikachu. Okay. Yo! Yo! No! 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 no. Pika, pika. My God! I thought Pikachu likes electricity. No, I hate electricity. <laughs> Ow! That one hurt, actually. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Get away, Pika Pika! I can't see nothing. Hey, don't touch my butt! <laughs> okay, 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 I give up. 2000s, private prison influence. With the rise of private prisons in the 2000s, the focus on cost efficiency intensified. Some facilities outsourced food services to private companies, leading to standardized mass-produced meals. In front of you, mashed potatoes, burger patty, and water. Okay. Wait, we just get a patty and mashed potatoes, is it? That was a downgrade? The 2000s, you're saying the 1980s had a full McDonald's, and then we get an eighth of a McDonald's. Mm. 
Mm. Prison trivia. What was the top grossing movie in 2003? Oh. Mm. Was it Finding Nemo or The Matrix Reloaded? I'm gonna go with Reloaded. Finding Nemo, bro. That's the answer is Finding Nemo. Ah! Where's my dad? He's all alone. Suck my titties. What? That was not part of the movie. Your punishment, royalty-free version of Britney Spears' Oops, I Did It Again dance routine, wearing a red Britney jumpsuit. Ladies and gentlemen, Britney Spears! Oh, you Miss Incredible, baby! How you doing? How you doing? You're looking fashionable. <laughs> Just friends, ah, ha. Oh, baby. Oops, I did it again. Wow. Wow, is it weird I found it semi attractive? <laughs> 2010s, a return to rehabilitation. In the 2010s, there was a renewed emphasis on rehabilitation, and this extended to the realm of food. Correctional facilities began exploring culinary training programs for inmates, providing them with valuable skills for reintegration into society. In front of you, fish patties, hot dog, and slaw. Mm. Small Fritos bag and fruit juice. Mmm, mm, it's good. And pretty. 2010 trivia. What major event rocked the financial world in 2008, triggering a global recession? The dot-com bubble burst or the housing market crash? Housing market is dot-com because no. of that the housing market no, crash. No, 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 All no. All right, no. the what answer is, is the housing market crash. I told you it's not. <laughs> Your punishment, you are now a black hole. You must consume all of the items in front of you through a tube. The other person will tape the tube to your face. In front of you are other galaxies and cosmic dust. Mm. Ready? Mm. Consume. Let me cut this off. Just do it without the tape. Okay, stay still. Don't move. There you go. <laughs> okay, I think you're good. I think you're good. Okay. 2020, focus on reform. As we reach the present day, the conversation around prison food has expanded to encompass broader issues of justice and reform. Calls for more humane conditions, nutritional adequacy, and transparency in food sources have become central to the discourse. In front of you, biscuits and gravy, brownie, sliced carrots, apples, and a vitamin drink. Oh, vitamin. Okay, 2020, I see you, it's not bad. This is not bad. Mm, yeah, that's super vitamin-y. It's time for prison trivia. Woo! Let's go. Your final question. Which social media platform launched in 2020 and quickly gained popularity known for its short form videos? Was it A, TikTok or B, Instagram Reels? <clears throat> TikTok. Yeah, TikTok. TikTok. I think Reels is like yeah. 2022 or something. I don't know, but you can go to wasabiproductions.com and grab some cool stuff. Hello. Okay. Bye. Oh shit, that's the TV. <laughs>